After a disappointing loss to Horsham last week in the RFU senior vase, Winchester managed to bounce back against unbeaten Sandown and Shanklin, beating the league leaders 17-13. The visitors scored the first points, with this penalty only four minutes into the match. But Winchester built up pressure of their own. Top point scorer Matt Woods nearly scored the first try, but Sandown and Shanklin held him up over the line. Fortunately for Winchester, they are awarded the penalty soon after, and Matt Gibson leveled the scores. A number of infringements from Sandown and Shanklin saw Sam Reese being put in the bin for 10 minutes. Winchester failed to convert the penalties, leaving the scores even. But having a man advantage gave them the impetus they needed, and Daniel Waite nearly scored from this opportunity. Woods was on hand again, and this time he couldn't be stopped from going over. Matt Gibson got the conversion to give Winchester a 10-3 lead. But Winchester seemed to lose concentration after scoring and let Sandown and Shanklin break. A great tackle from fullback Alex Welch looked to save Winchester, but Sandown and Shanklin forced their way over. They missed the conversion, leaving the scores 10-8 at half time. A great kick forced Alex Welch to scramble the ball into touch. And this gave Sandown and Shanklin's captain, Joe Reese space to score. This try put them ahead again by three points. The lack of a standout goal kicker has really hounded Winchester this season. And they had the opportunity to take the lead from these two penalties, but neither of them were converted. It looked like those misses would be Winchester's downfall. But in the last minutes of the game, they scored the try they needed. Quick hands gave Locke and Matt Lowne space on the wing and he finished the opportunity well. Matt Gibson got the conversion and gave Winchester a four point lead with eight minutes to go. This win leaves Winchester in second place, but has moved them only two points behind leaders Sandown and Shanklin. Henry Lewin tipped for Winchester News Online.